Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, it will discuss one of a very common topic in crypto system, the RSA cryptography. As we know, RSA is a public key crypto system, and the RSA key is a key pair, private key and the public key. In previous OpenSSL series video, we have demonstrated how to generate RSA key pair using OpenSSL library and OpenSSL API. In this short video, it will discuss how to generate RSA public and private key pair using Crypto++ library. You can compare both examples and have your own opinion of what is the advantage and the disadvantage between two libraries. Here on our Linux environment, we have created two programs, rsakgen.cpp, rsakload.cpp. The rsakgen.cpp will generate RSA key pair and write into private key file and public key files. RSAKload.cpp read from the key file load into the private key or public key. Here is our RSAKGen.cpp. The usage, the command line will have three arguments. Argument 1 will be the key bit. Argument 2 will be the private key file. And argument 3 will be public key files. To generate a RSA key pair, we have five steps. First, convert argument 1 into the key bit, which is the assigned integer. And we have a random number generator object. Generate a parameter for RSA key. Create a key object and write into the private key file and the public key file. So first, we convert argument 1 into the assigned integer. using the a2i function and then we pursued random number generator the class will be we name is rng next will be the generator parameter the class will be name parameters and then we generate with the key size It need a two parameter. First the parameter is the RNG, second is the key size. It's RNG key bits. Next step where we create key object. There's a two key object. One is the private key object and the public key object. Here is the pointer, private key and the pointer of a public key. Parameter where we After we generate the key object, where we save them to the key files. So first we create the filter the encoder. Then we save them. Now we finish our program. So we save our program, we go to our next example, load key from key files. The usage of this program, take two argument. First argument will be the key type, either private or public. Second argument will be the key file. After validate the command line syntax, first create file source. Name is key file. Argument 2, true. After that, we instantialize two objects, private key object and the public key object. If we say it's a public, load from the key file. If it's a private, 
Now we successfully load into the private key object or public key object. In this example, we are going to get some key parameter and print it out. For the public key, there's two parameters, modules and the public exponent. They both const integer type. N e. Then we can print them out. First, we print out the key bits, which from n dot bit count. And then we print out the modulus. And we can print out the public exponent. For the public key, we can print out the value name list. We can also get the value of algorithm ID the standard vector we name is OID VEC and uh, we just print out because it is a vector so we need to make a small loop in each loop We just print out its base value and end of a loop. We just print out end of a line. This is our public key parameter we can get when we can print out. Next, for the private key, we have more parameters. This is the module, public exponent, private exponent. First the primer factor, second the primer factor, D2P, D2Q, and the U. All this is constant integer reference type. So first we copy this two line. We change this to the private key. And uh, after these two, we have uh, something more called a D. And the P, first the primer factor, Q, and the DP. DQ. And U. So now we just uh, print them. The first is the module. Next is the public exponent. Next, private exponent. Next is the primary one. Next, primary two. Next is the DP. Next is a DQ. Next is a U.
for the private key, we also have a value name list and the algorithm ID. So we copy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 line. We paste here and we change this to the private key. Now we finish our program, generate the IC key and the load IC key. So we save our program. We compile our program. Now program get compiled. This is our executable. First is the generator IC key. The usage first argument is the key bit. 048 my RC private key so now we generate two key file my RC private key and my RC public key if we load the public and my public key so you can see we got a key bit 2048 because we generate a key bit 2048 and this is our module and this is a public exponent, it's 17. This is our name list, and we have modules and the public exponent. Now let's see, load our private key. The my private key. You can see, private key has more information. Key bit is 2048, public exponent is 17, private exponent primary 1, primary 2, model primary 1 to private exponent, model primary 2 to private exponent, value name list, and the algorithm ID. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful it's useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.